G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I'm going to have another play with the um, the 3D flower bloom in resin. And I'm going to do another bowl because I love, love, love this bowl that I made. Even though it didn't bloom as well as I would have liked it to, I really just love the colours and the pretty pale, feminine, delicate kind of look. So I'm going to do another bowl. Along these lines, but a little bit different, um, I am putting some glitter on the inside there. I've started just because I wanted to see what it would look like. And because um, I've got my resin sitting here, so I'll talk to you a little bit while my resin's warming up. Now this glitter, um, I think this was another Larissi glitter. It says LB400. And it's kind of got, it's red with a little bit of gold in it. So I'm just dipping it into my um, my little makeup brush there into the glitter. And I'm putting it along the sides there. And I don't mind if I get a little bit over here. I've actually kind of spread that out a little bit. Because when it's on, it'll be here on the, on the edge. And it'll be down there a little bit as well. So that's what I'm going for. And then I'm going to put gold on the top. Well, I'm not planning to anyway. <laughs> this one, I thought the glitter will do. So I'm just loading my little brush, brushing it on the side of the silicon mold. This is uh, my 24 centimeter round silicon mold. And I'm just kind of pulling that into the center just a little bit, like so. And I've got it on my turntable because it's so easy to use. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. <laughs> I'm just pulling that out a little bit there. If you get too much out onto your mould, you can just use your tape. Like I'll pick that up there in a minute. I just want to get started. I thought I won't show you the whole thing. It takes too long, but I'll just do that. I'm going to try and make my videos a little bit shorter in the future. Try be the operative word. So, you know, I'll try and do some mixing off camera. See what you guys think because some of them are just quite long. I will still do some long ones, but I'm going to try and see if I can just, you know, cut them down a little bit. Not that you're going to, you won't lose any information. There'll just be less chatting, I guess. Less yabbering on my behalf. Nearly finished. So make sure that you've got some masking tape ready to clean up your sides. And then I'm just going to pull that in there a little bit, just kind of giving it a little wispy kind of a look all the way around. Because, you know, Christmas is coming, so this is sort of along the lines. This is kind of a Christmassy theme, I think so anyway. Bit of a Christmassy theme. Red and glitter and all that. A little bit more, just trying to make it sort of even. Don't think it'll matter too much. So I'm not going to do the, the scallops like this. I'm just going to put it into a regular round bowl. And uh, yeah, make a like a little candy bowl. You can use it for, you know, wrapped candies, sweets, little chocolates, pop on the centre of your Christmas table. Or you could put, um, you know, candles and things in it. All right, so that's what I'm doing there. I've got a little bit of my, the same glitter in there. And that's going to be my centre. Now, if you've got any glitter where you don't want it, just grab your paper towel. Not your paper towel a bit of masking tape and um, just pick up those little bits that you don't want. I don't mind a few little bit stray ones because it gets sort of thick and then out to sort of a thinner. On the side there as well you can just pick up those strays that you've spilled like so. You might have to get a new piece of masking tape if it's getting a little bit too clogged up with glitter. 
when it stops getting things stuck to it, then you know it's time to replace, hey? All right, I think that's about it. I'm just gonna go around and just make sure that's kind of thinned out. Oops, and I'm making my mold dirty again. I just don't want any big chunks. I don't mind if I get a little bit of a spray there in the center or just next to the line anyway oh, this is taking way too long all right so that's that done um I've told you about that what I'm going to do is for my base instead of having it clear I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this um jacquard pearlex interference gold into my clear and just have a, th a very thin kind of a pale gold hue that way when I turn it over I think you'll see this reddish gold on the edge um, and then you'll have a little bit of pale gold and then you'll have your white blooms and I'm using the Lores Angel White and some pinata white and I'm just going to Instead of piping with a piping bat, I'm going to try the cup to see how I go with that. All right, um, let's take this little guy's temperature because it's been sitting in there for almost half an hour now. Picking up my extra glitter. So give that a bit of a stir and we'll see what it's doing. I want to start mixing my colours when it gets to about 45 degrees. Because when I did my last one, I left it in here. It got to 50, then I started mixing my colours. And then by the time I poured this into my mould, it must have been, you know, at least 55 degrees, maybe even 60. And um, it was a bit too hot. So I didn't, the petals didn't bloom as much as they should have. So we're on 34 and a half degrees. This is Celsius. 35. It's taking longer today to heat up. Like I said, it's been you know nearly half an hour now. So almost 36 degrees. So I basically want it to get to another 10 degrees. I want it to be 46, 47 degrees. Um, and then I'll start mixing colors. So I will come back to you when that's at about 47 degrees. And uh, we'll go from there, eh? Right, oh, let's check this again. Okay, what are we on? 45, 46. All right, so almost, almost there. I'll clean that off and uh, I'll start mixing. I'm going to clean this with some alcohol so we don't get resin stuck all over it. There we go. All right, so that's about the time where I want to start mixing. So now I'm going to put a little bit in here. Don't need a lot, just a little bit for that to make a paste out of, like so. And then I'm not even going to weigh this time. No, I'm not. I'm going to be very reckless today. I'm just going to go, let's put in half a cup. Oh, maybe a third. I'm going to put in a third of a cup. This, this little cup holds uh, four ounces, so about 120 mils. So I'm just putting in a third of a cup. I think that's about a third of the cup. Right. So this is still sitting in here warming up. And I'll probably check it again shortly. <laughs> now, the angel white. I'm just going to give that a stir. You can't really count your drops, so I'm just going to wipe that off on one side, like that. And then whatever stays on the top is what I'm using. And we'll just see how that goes. And I'm also going to add in... Hmm, Let's do four drops. One, two, three, four. Let's do five. I like the number five. Five drops of alcohol ink. So we'll give that a stir. 
So I can feel that the resin's getting warm now. I do want it to be a little bit on the thick side. It's not leaving a mound at the moment. But the last one I did um, with the red, with the red mica powder, I left it too long and it didn't really bloom very, very well. So, look, I, I think the 3D flowers are quite difficult. I don't know. Some people just can just do it. Sometimes I can do it and then sometimes I can't do it. It's very intermittent. Right, um, now the rest of this I'm going to just put in a little bit. What can I use? A little bit of this. Just We'll try that because it's a, it's a lot of resin. So we'll just try that first. I just want it to be very pale gold. I don't want a lot. That might even be too much, but we'll see what happens when I mix it in. Just want a little shimmer, really. Still quite transparent, but just that little hint of gold, you know, I think that would look really pretty. Because this glitter, like I can see a little hint of gold in the glitter too. And see that shimmer? Hopefully you can see a shimmer in there. I think that's all I need. It's very, very transparent. Just a little glimmer. Hopefully you can see that. All right, put the lid back on that. So basically we're ready to go now. I just want to take this temperature one more time and see what we are now at. And it's been sitting, it's been sitting for 45 minutes now, my resin. Forty-five, forty-six. So I really want to pour it into my mold when it gets to about fifty. I think <laughs> that's what I'm trialing anyway. But it is getting quite warm. Okay, we're just about forty-eight. There we go, forty-eight. All right, I think by the time I get myself organized and get this cleaned up, I should be right to go. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a go. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's just resin. I'll make some more up, hey? Yep. Because as soon as I pour it in there, it's going to cool down anyway. This is still... It's warm, but it's, it's not really leaving much of a mound. So anyway, let's just do this, shall we? Here we go, here we go. Pouring it in, look at that. Now I'm using the Platinum Ultra Clear resin. It has a work time of about 45 minutes. So the resin has been sitting now for 45 minutes just over 45 minutes since I've stopped stirring it. So I think if my calculations are right, if your resin has a work time of 30 minutes, you pipe at 30 minutes. If it has a working time of 45 minutes, you pipe at about 45 minutes. That's kind of what my, I'm trying to prove or disprove that theory. Look at those effects. The Pearl X resin uh, pigments are just amazing. They really are. The effects that you get. Right now, where's my center? Stick your finger in. Find the center. I think that's about it. Oh, well, that's where it's going. So as soon as you decant your resin into your mold, it will immediately stop like heating up as fast as it was previously when it was in its deep bowl. You know, it'll it'll still cure, but you know, it's just going to slow down. So there we go. Looks kind of brownish in there, doesn't it? But it's it's a beautiful reddish, orangish hint of gold. It's really pretty. This glitter. All right. Now I've never done this before with a cup and made little rings. So hopefully I can do it. Hopefully, hopefully I'm not going to stuff it up. Oh gosh, I'm a bit nervous. 
Mm. What if, so you go, that got to be careful. That doesn't drag in there. Mm, pinch it as much as I can. Here I go. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm trying to get as close to the surface as I can so that I'm not... Oh, my gosh. Oh, I knocked this. I knocked the um, mould. It's all right. I'm just trying to get close to the surface so that I don't, um, like, drop it in. I'm trying to get the rings to be all the kind of the same thickness. I think if you go too fast, you get a thin little stream. Oh, gee, I should have just enough, you guys. I'll take it to there. Whoa, stop! Stop! Stop right there. I'm going to know right now. All right, let's see if I can fix this little squiggle up that I've made here. That one looks a little bit on the thin side. I'm just going to try and make it a little bit thicker. And see if I can fix you up a little bit. Where else needs to be a little bit thicker? Mm. I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. <laughs> I think if I, I tend to put too much in, and then it kind of gets too heavy and it sinks. So let's just leave that. I'm going to give it another little torch. And then I'm going to pull my stick through it. And by stick, I mean my silicone stick. This one here. It's blooming already, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, it may actually work this time. And um, I pretty much used up all that that resin that I had it always blooms more on the outside this is what I was saying to the other day the outside has got that much to pull in through here it's only got this much so these middle ones they don't tend to do as much in my opinion is what I found all right so I'm going to pull the stick through so it's just a little silicone tip there so you don't have to worry about scratching your mold no matter if you hit the bottom oops it didn't pull that one deep enough I'm trying to get a little bit deep I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna go back the other way and pull it out to make points it's actually blooming you guys oh well you have no idea how excited this makes me. Those of you that have been attempting to do this, you will know exactly how I'm feeling. Actually, I shouldn't count my chickens before they hatch, should I? Because it may still be blobby on the other side. Whoops, I'm not going very straight. I was, I was looking at this area here where I've kind of messed it up. I wasn't paying attention. Oh my gosh. Wow, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm just beyond excited. Because it didn't do this last time. It didn't. I'm not even going to get my heat gun out and torch it. I'm not. Isn't that good? Aren't you proud of me? I'm not going to. I'm just going to heat it a little bit more with my torch. So, get those bubbles. All right, I am taking you down because you guys have got to see this. You have got to see this. Let me get my gloves off. Can you see that? Oh, I've got resin sticky, sticky, sticky on my fingers. I'm going to have to clean that in a sec. You know when you take your gloves off and there's a little bit of resin on, on the tip of the glove? Oh, look at that. Can you see that shimmer? Look at that. It's just a... Oh, look at that. It's just a ever so slightly little bit of shimmer. Let me just... Get reach over here and get the alcohol spray on my fingers and wipe that resin off. Okay, all good. Put you on autofocus. 
Look here, guys. Look, look, look. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the little bits of gold shimmering in between. That is just what I wanted. And then, of course, when you turn this out, you'll have that um, red gold glitter on the outside and that little bit on the middle there as well. Oh, wow. Look, it's closing up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm sorry, but I'm just so excited. I am ecstatic. It's been so long since I've done a, a good one. I just hope it works out on the other side. But it's pretty much all closed up. Getting there. And I thought because of, you know, putting that little bit of um, gold in there, the interference gold, um, if it doesn't all close up, then you can still see that it's got a little bit of the gold background. Ever so slight, because there's still areas there that haven't closed up, but you wouldn't really know because... It's just got the gold that you can, it's peeking through. Isn't it so pretty? <gasps> oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to leave it there. It's actually almost bedtime. <laughs> I just had this idea and then I wanted to come and do it. Because it's so much fun. I really enjoy doing the resin. So anyway, I said I'm going to do shorter videos. So let's try that. Um, so we just have to wait now. I have to actually wait 24 hours. So tomorrow night before I can unmold this because it's a longer setting resin. So cross your fingers for me and uh, I will be back shortly. For you, it'll be shortly. For me, it'll be a long, long 24 hour wait. All right, see you soon. Hey guys, I did a really stupid thing. I um, mixed resin at um, quarter past eight at night. <laughs> I finished pouring this at 9.30 and I forgot I was going to pour it into a, turn it into a bowl and the resin takes five and a half hours to get to the stage where I can mould it into the bowl as my bowl. So guess who had to set the alarm for 3 a.m. and come and turn out resin? Me! Oh gosh. So oh, my alarm just went off. Oh, I was in a deep sleep. So here I am. Okay, so what I thought I'd do, I've never done this before, I thought I'd get my silicone spray and just spray my little bowl just to make sure it's not going to stick. Okay, so I'm just going to put this over here away from the mold and give it a spray. Hopefully it'll be all right. Not sure. All right, let's get this out. Yeah, I can't believe I did that because when I said, you know, goodbye, I'll see you tomorrow, I was thinking, yeah, 24 hours, you know, I'm just doing a plate. <laughs> and then I was about to go to bed and I thought, oh, I was going to do a bowl. Never mind. All right. As you can see, it's still really bendy. I probably could have got away with leaving it till like 4 a.m., but anyway. Here I am, 3 a.m. All right. I wonder if I need to put gloves on. So this is going to be the bottom. So I'm going to put it, you know, like that. I guess we could just leave it like that, couldn't we? And then we wouldn't see. I'm leaving a fingerprint. I better put my glove on. Let me put some gloves on. But yeah, there's no reason why you couldn't leave it in the mould. But um, yeah, I want to get it out. Because the mould's you know, thick, so it does give you a little different effect if you leave it in the mould rather than take it out. Okay, let's see if I can get this baby out. Very soft. I have left a fingerprint. What you can do is, if you do leave a fingerprint, and no, I'm not going back to bed for an hour and coming back. You just, you just lightly go over it with your torch. And it'll kind of just melt it again. If you do leave a fingerprint.
and just heat it again. All right, I think hopefully the gloves will be all right. As long as I touch the back and not the front, we'll be all right. And we get to see what it's going to look like. I'm just going to hold it like this. Oh, look, you guys. Oh, wow, look at that. It worked. It worked, it worked. Yay. Although, I must say, the, um, am I in the centre now? The mica powder, having the mica powder there is kind of hidden it, hidden my design a bit. It's the only issue. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, it's so beautiful, but the mica powder's kind of hidden it. Right, look at that, that's falling in pretty well. I'll make sure that's in the centre. Oh, look at that, it's falling in really well. Woo! <laughs> so I just want to leave it like that, just, just as a round, just like that. I think that's in. My center's not quite in the middle of my bowl. It could have been moved over just a touch. Yeah, the um, the mica powder of the um, the gold has hidden hidden it a little bit. Actually, let me just. I don't think that's pushed in all the way actually. Let me just do this and then I can push it all and push it in. It's not quite touching the, the sides of the bowl down there. There we go, that's that's it. Now I've got it. So this is where you would, you know, if you wanted to do your scalloped edges like this, this is where you would do them. Make sure that you're centered. That is off center just a touch but I can't really move it. Do I want to scallop it or do I want to just leave it? I can sort of smoothing it out a little bit and see the the glitter looks as if it's coming off but it's sitting there just beautifully isn't it? Beautiful little ring of glitter. Now hopefully it's going to be able to come out Otherwise, it's going to be stuck in the bowl forever. So there we go. Oh, I'm a little bit disappointed because that beautiful pattern that I created and I was so excited about has now just been been hidden a little bit, I guess. Um, just because of that mica powder. Look. I mean, you can see it, but it's very... Very faint, but it is inside the bowl now, so maybe when I take it out, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. But at least I've got my timing right. I know I've got my timing right now. All right, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> I probably won't be able to sleep now. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, well, there you go. I really like that one. I still like this one the best. I have to do this one again with um, a timing on this one, but I've written it all down now, so I should be good to go. What if I'm going to get that out? Yep. I put the silicon spray on it, so it should be all right. Maybe I should just do around it. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it some on my finger like that. I'm just going to go around this top edge here, just in case. I'm a bit worried about it sticking. all the way around there. I, don't, I know I got the inside of the bowl, I'm not sure if I got that top edge there. Now, I don't have any release spray. I guess, I don't know, silicon spray the same as release spray? I'm not sure. I oh, see, I don't know that I'd use silicon spray inside a silicon mold. Or I don't know if that would work. If anyone's done that, if you use silicon spray as a silicon, like as a release spray in a mold, if you've done that, let me know if it worked. I should stop playing with this because it's very soft. I'm going to damage it. All right, leave it alone. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Leave it alone, go back to bed. You've got to get up in two hours. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Make sure it's just back into its shape. And uh, I'll leave it there. Lovely. Oh, well, I'm glad it's worked. Maybe when it comes out of the white bowl, we'll be able to see the white petals a little bit more too. And uh, this, you can just clean that up with some um, tape or you can pop it in the in some warm water and um, they'll come off. All right, that's it for me. I am going back to bed. See you in the morning. Alrighty guys, it's time to, well, not kind of unmold because we've already seen the top. Um, but look, there's a little glimmer of gold in there. So yeah, um, like I said earlier, it didn't really work the way I wanted it to because I put that um, mica powder in the whole thing. I was supposed to just do it on the edge and then I totally forgot at the last minute, but Let me just loosen that all the way around. Should be okay because it's had that silicone spray. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It's loose. All right. Let's get him out. There we go. It looks a little bit better now. It hasn't got that white background. Oh, look at my silicone spray. <laughs> well, that worked. I'll have to wash that off before. No, stick it in the dishwasher. I wonder how it's gone on the other side. I'll give that a bit of a wipe. Could have possibly have used that side. Um, it's more white, but I would have had to put um, more of the glitter in. And look, it's got a little... It's mimicked the um, the shape of the bowl. It's got a little lip there. Isn't that cute? I like that. I need to wipe the silicone oil off though. Let me just grab a, a wet wipe. And we'll just get that off. Okay, that'll do. All right. Now, again, wasn't what I was expecting, but I think these two actually match nicely together and so I could potentially just put a little bit of gold on the edge there do you think that would look nice so that they match because see they're both white with rose gold and gold and like it's still pretty um, I have since I've done this I've worked out a better way of doing the center so you will see that in upcoming videos I've learned how to do that but look you can see the gold there and it's more white that way and it's picking up the gold that way so not a failure I'm just going to grab my gold pen my usual a deco color I just think because they're going to be a like a pair I'm just going to do the very the very edge just along here I hope you can see I don't know whether we'll even be able to see that all the way down there because it's kind of on the bottom. Probably can't even see it. What I'll do is I'll I'll go around and just do the the bottom like that. Oops, try not to get it on the bowl. <gasps> get it on the on the bottom little rim there. And then so I'll do that. because oh, you can't see it from there. I'll go through and do all that in a minute. And then what I think I'll do is I'll just come up. Above that and just kind of oops oh <laughs> don't go over the side and then just kind of go along the side it's a little bit tricky to do because it's curved so I don't have like a, a little groove to follow like I would on a normal like a coaster so I haven't got a, the little groove there to follow but I think I'm doing okay So I'll just do the side and the bottom because at the moment the bottom's just it's not that attractive it's just got like the clear clear resin there so 
I think this will look nice. It'll just finish it off. Um, you won't be able to see it like, you know, looking down on it, but looking from the side, you can definitely see that it's, you know, a matching pair to that other one. So I think that'll be nice. I won't do the whole thing now. It'll take too long, but how's that? Just that little little glimmer on the edge there. Yeah. Looks better than just that, doesn't it? So that's it there. So I think they look nice together. This one's got the gold on the top. This one's got the gold on the side. And I think they look really pretty together. They wouldn't suit my particular Christmas table, but um, they're a nice little set. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed that. I wonder if I can do anything with the center to make it look a little bit nicer. I just don't like that. I just don't like the, the roundness of that. I'm going to just try and put some little dots of gold around there. I don't know. I can always wipe them off if I don't like them. And also it's not quite in the center. So if I do this, I can actually make them sort of go more this way. Just little dots. Yeah, and you know, like I said, if I don't like it, I just, I just wipe them off. Just don't like how it's just that kind of red blob there. And this kind of centers it a little bit better too. Let me know what you think if you hate it. <laughs> it's okay if you hate it. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> I prefer it. All right, so it kind of matches, again, matches that one. A little bit of gold in the center. So with the glitter, you don't get, with the bigger glitter pieces, you, you don't get that defined ring along the edge. It's kind of more natural looking, which is what I didn't like about that one. But anyway, I can always wipe it off. Let me know what you think, if you like it there or, or not. I can just get an alcohol wipe and wipe it off if you, if you don't like it, but doesn't matter. All right. And then, um, you know, you saw that video of that one and hopefully you saw the video of that one. So I'm really enjoying doing these and um, there are more to come. So keep your eyes open for those. But um, there's my little set of uh, rose gold and white bowls. Let me know what you think of them. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you real soon for the next video. Okay. Bye for now.